Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How you doing? I got a great video for you today. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step and show you how to do influencer marketing for Shopify stores. This is incredibly powerful. Influencer marketing for e-commerce, this is a must-have in your marketing mix. If you're not doing influencer marketing, you definitely wanna get started ASAP today. I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that and I'll show you how I do it. And influencer marketing, it's so popular because it works so well. This isn't just about, you know, kind of a nice, fancy, new type of marketing. This is a very highly effective marketing where we're going to see higher conversion rates, higher click-through rates than what we typically see with ads. And that's incredibly important because, let's say, Facebook ads or YouTube ads, costs are rising every single day, every single week, every single month. And we still need to find new ways to cost-effectively reach customers. So the biggest thing and the reason why influencer marketing works so well is that customers react way more positively to trusted messaging compared to ads, right? If you're going to have an influencer promote your product as opposed to a, a video ad on Facebook, the influencer marketing ad or that campaign is going to work significantly better. You're going to have a, a higher click-through rate. You're going to get a higher conversion rate. You're going to get better customers. And more importantly, you're going to make more profit. But there's definitely some pain points that you're going to run into when you start implementing influencer marketing into your business. And first of all, it's incredibly time consuming. There's a lot of manual research. You need to go through Instagram, go through all the hashtags. You need to go find people. Then it's even way, way, way more time consuming to actually manage the entire campaign process from reaching out, negotiating, talking about the content, all that great stuff, tracking it, right? All of this takes a lot of time. And on the flip side, working with agencies, it's just way too expensive. It's going to prevent profitable scaling from you, especially when you want to work with influencers over and over and over. It's just going to get too expensive. So you really need to find these influencers. Uh, without the agencies, but the success with this channel, with in, uh, Instagram influencers, it's not about just reaching out to 10,000 different influencers and you know copying and pasting a lot of emails and building Google Sheets with lists of 10,000 influencers. It's all about building relationships with these creators so they truly understand your product and you truly understand their audience to make sure that not only is it a match, but that they're effectively selling the product or selling your service to make sure that these are profitable campaigns. So how are you going to do influencer marketing the right way? You're going to use Sorrel. This is what I use. This is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. We're going to go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you exactly why Sorrel is so powerful for your Instagram influencer marketing. Great for really any type of e-commerce store. And we're going to jump into it right now. So this is the dashboard of Sorrel. And once you first sign up, you're going to be prompted to go ahead and install the Google Chrome extension. You download this and install this for free. Really powerful because it's going to allow you to find info on the fly on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok creators. So when you have it in there, you'll be able to jump right in. You can do a little onboarding here in terms of what's going on over here, but I'm going to show you really kind of what you want to pay attention to once you are inside of your dashboard. First thing that we want to do is actually finish our settings down here. We're going to want to ensure that we connect our Gmail inbox. This is going to allow for those automated emails to come out. So we'll click on sign in with Google and link our account. You'll see that your email is listed over here with a little check over here. You could always remove it if you want. We're coming back over here and what we want to do now is import influencers. And the easiest way to do that is to use that Google Chrome extension. As we're going through and finding different influencers, we're going to have inside here our actual Sorrel extension. And this is going to allow us to literally find information that's going to be relevant as we research different uh, influencers. So we can see things here, of course, like follower rate. But what we're really interested in is engagement rate and diehard fans. And really, really powerful here. This is only a very small account, but you see high engagement. So when you're going for those little micro influencers, you always want to find those high engagement rates. We can come over here, take a look at the same thing as we come over and bring in the extension over here for this one that I found a little bit bigger. This is a really funny uh, cat influencer account over here. You see that uh, not as good an engagement rate, but still over 1% is pretty solid when it comes to Instagram, especially now that we're getting into the thousands of followers. So let's say you like this person. We can come over here, add this into our list, or you can create a new list if you're just kind of creating on the fly. I'm going to add this into my uh, list number one. And just like that, the influencer is added into the list. And of course, this also works down here inside of TikTok as well. We have Theo and Mina, very, very popular uh, TikTok duo over here. You see very high engagement rate, 18% engagement rate. That's really, really high. Come over here, fair fee. This is interesting. Kind of giving us a little insight in terms of what we can uh, expect to pay or what kind of value we're going to get in terms of advertising here. So also predicted views, really popular or really powerful, I should say. Going to give us an estimation based on their past videos of what we can expect 
come over here and add this influ uh, influencer into our list. Come over here on the uh, much bigger side, Nalacat over here, come over and look at the extension to get some information over here. 4.4 million followers. So really, really, really massive in terms of that. Still at that 1% engagement rate, which is incredibly powerful for a huge account like this. You see, this is a fair fee over here in the thousands of dollars here. Predicted likes, 44.7 thousand. Diehard fans still on the good side of things. Again, with this big account, 1% is very big for a million plus account. So we'll come over here, add this influencer into our list. And as we're doing that across the different social media sites, we can come over here and take a look at our actual influencers here back in our dashboard. So as I reload here, we're gonna see our creators imported here. We're gonna see our prospects, right? And this is obviously the first step here. What we need to do is of course, research and add influencers into our list. So we can come over here and take a look at our list as a whole, right? These are the three influencers that we added. We literally just saw these three that we added right over here. You'll of course be able to add as many influencers and as many lists as you want. Now what I wanna show you will be the email drips. And by the way, you could send, uh, we click in here, you could actually send bulk email to all of these influencers at once. All right, we could do that over here. But we're gonna to come to email drips and we're gonna create a new email drip. You're gonna see how powerful this is. And uh, we'll call this uh, drip one. And uh, what we're gonna be able to set up here, you'll see, it's really kind of just a step-by-step -step editor based on some templates. And we see down here, we have the different time periods. We can come over here and uh, update this to your time period over here or I'm sorry, your time zone. And then we're gonna be able to come over here and select our schedule. And we're gonna probably do something like weekdays where we're kind of inside of a typical work schedule. We could even do any day if you are working on the weekends. Probably this is good because influencers definitely work 24 seven. So we'll come over here and now what we wanna do is click create new template. And over here, we're gonna have a couple different parameters that we'll be able to use. And parameters obviously are gonna be able to pull out information about the influencer. And the reason that this is powerful is that we don't wanna to have to create individual emails to each influencer. Let's say we're reaching out to 20,000 influencers. We have the ability to literally go through and have their, for example, first name automatically come in. So we could say, hey, uh, first name, uh, we would love to partner with you, your audience will love our products. They are all cat lover t-shirts. We'd love to send you a few samples for a post on Insta. You'll give it a uh, subject as well, just like any email. And then we're gonna create this in here. And you see that this now says day one, right? And the idea of a drip campaign is that over X amount of days, we're going to start sending automated campaigns. We're basically warming up and developing relationships with our influencers. And this is so important. You could imagine how many uh, kind of um, reach outs they get over here on a 4.4 million person account. So this is really all about influencer marketing and relationship building. And we're able to do that on an automated basis here. That's why Sorrel is so powerful. Again, we don't need to come in here and sit there and automatically create thousands upon thousands of emails per influencer and then have that kind of a full relationship building through multiple emails. That would just take forever. What we're doing here is just creating the drips. So we're gonna go ahead and add another email over here. We're gonna now have a delay. We're gonna set two day delay. And what we're gonna to wanna to create is basically more content to come along with our promotion. So we create another email. We're gonna set the delay to be two days. And again, I'm gonna use some custom parameters here. Say our customers won't stop talking about and put username. So basically they're gonna get a message that says, hey, our customers won't stop talking about you. So we're trying to get a little hook here. We're trying to build that relationship. See that there's kind of a two way benefit here for working together. And you're gonna see as we create this, right? We now have multiple emails in the drip. Day one the initial day three, right? Why is it day three? Because we had a two day delay, right? If we wanna come in over here, we can change this to a, uh, how about a 20 day delay? You're gonna see that the schedule changes accordingly, right? It's totally up to you in terms of how long, obviously 20 is too long. You wanna do one or two days because you were trying to build a relationship here. You're trying to get in front of these influencers over and over and over again. And we can continuously add new email templates over here. You could have, uh, I have up, upwards of a 10 email drip campaign, especially when you're going after some of the, like I said, these really big influencers, you need to build those relationships with them. Really cool part about the email drips setup over here is that you're gonna see full analytics. Obviously right now, we just see a sampling of uh, nothing because this is a brand new campaign. But once it starts running, once the emails get sent out, uh, and they're gonna be running on this time zone uh, and this kind of activity schedule, you'll see the analytics fill up. You'll be able to jump into it and see more uh, kind of about your email drip campaigns. But really it's the combination of having those creators added into your lists, 
creating your email drip campaigns and building those relationships. And it's literally as easy as now turning on this drip campaign. And we're going to start emailing the influencers that are on our list. Very, very powerful, right? And we have the ability to do that automatically. Now I want to show you my favorite part of this entire app. And it's really over here in the relationships section. We have this board over here and uh, very, very kind of visual. And I love this especially when you start having a lot of influencers on your list. And what we're able to do here is actually take a look and see the different status over here in terms of prospects, right? This is the first stage, but reached out in terms of actually reaching out to these influencers. And in fact, as we click in, we could even have more notes. But the whole idea here is that we're able to track the relationship building and the campaigns, right? Again, this is not going to be just a one-time thing where you send out a message and they're immediately going to post for you and get you a million sales, right? It's about uh, adding those kind of um, really, really deep relationships here. And right inside the screen, you're going to have everything that you need. We could have a trackable link created over here. All we need to do is enter in a product page URL. You see how this works. So I pasted in a link, I click create, and we have our own UTM link over here. And what does this mean? Well, not to get too technical, but this allows for the tracking that we need to understand who is actually generating the clicks and sales. So this would be the specific link you'd be able to copy and provide to this specific influencer. And you'll also able to add notes over here, say something like um, uh, first DM was opened and responded to and and kind of keep going through all here and have all this different information to keep us up to tabs, especially if you have a whole team, you'll be able to take a look and see kind of what's going on over here. We could always click over here into detailed uh, profile over here as well to take a look at them. But really the idea is that these people are going to progress from different levels in our kind of progress board. And again, it's all visual. So let's say they're moving over. Right? We literally have people now in the, the reached out. Let's say Nala Cat is, uh, is having conversation with us. Let's say Theo and Mina is having conversation with us and then they're ready to get onboarded or maybe Nala Cat were not able to work it out and they move to the rejected section, right? Literally visual here. So we could see, okay, 20 prospects, uh, five of them are reached out, two of them are in conversation, one is ready to onboard, one was rejected. Having it all visual, again, this is my absolute favorite part of the app. So there you go. You saw it in action. See just how powerful Soral is. And here is the Academy over here. You see this link directly below the video as well. Featured posts, blog posts, training posts, kind of get you all inside of the world of influencer marketing and creator engagement. Lots of different great posts here to really get you going in the right direction. And then when you're ready to get going, you just go to getsoral.com. You see the link directly below this video. You can get started for free. All you need to do is enter in your email address, press try for free. You'll be onboarded into your own account. You'll be able to do influencer marketing at the highest level. And you're going to see just how powerful this is for e-commerce brands. So again, you see the link directly below this video. Make sure you check them out. And I hope this helps you make some money. Talk to you real soon.